now load up SDK after you have it installed and after you've launched Counter-Strike. If you haven't launched Counter-Strike, then launch it now. Then when you load up SDK, it will initially copy files and then it will load up a web page when it's done. It will load up this web page. Now once it's done copying files, it will open up a web page and you can just close that out. And then you want to set your game to Episode 1 and Counter-Strike Source if you're mapping for Counter-Strike or else Orange Box for the Orange Box games. And then you want to, if when you load Hammer, mine's already set up so it won't work like this. When you load Hammer, it'll give you an error that there are no configurations to run with. Don't use the online tutorial, just click OK and you'll get an error saying there are no configurations. Then just press reset game configurations, press reset. It'll automatically fill all fields for you that way to make it usable. Then you load Hammer. You go to new. And what we're going to learn how to make today is a simple house. The dirt pile. So, first you want to get your surrounding sky. Search for skybox. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Do tools slash tools skybox. Make a box. About yay big. Then press enter. You want to use that tool, the block tool. Then press view on selected. Now what you'll see is you'll see something like this. This is your first time hammer. Now the easiest way to make it look normal is to click on 3D textured. Then you'll get something like that. Then you'll be able to see. Now select the box, press control. H. So we'll hollow out the box and then put in the number two. So now the, the all the walls are two lengths thick. So then if you go inside the box. You got a box. And my box is a bit too big. Make it smaller. And now if you press Shift W, it'll make it so it doesn't snap to grid anymore. So you can do a little bit more fancy brushwork. Um, now, you want to go to Browse, and search for No Draw, now you want Tools, No Draw, and now what No Draw does, it, it doesn't render anything in game, it's good for optimization, it helps the game run better. When creating a map, since this is a remake of my first tutorial, I didn't do this before, whenever you create a brush in one of my tutorials, you want to start the brush off as a no draw, so that way there will be undrawn faces that you don't see. It helps. Okay, and now, you have a no draw floor, and now you want to go to your face at a plane, and, which is this button here, colored box, press browse for texture. Type in grass, in your filter, down here. And you just want to select the grass texture, just be your glass floor, grass floor, <coughs> and there's your grass. And now, you want to go back to your no draw texture, and if you click and hold here, you can go to your last use textures. Now we want to make another house. I mean, we want to make another block inside the big one. So, select this, make a big box inside, not super big, but big, so it'll fit. And then, now you'll have a big no draw box. Press Control H on it again. And you can make this thicker if you want. It's no big deal. I'm going to do four. And now, if you go inside the box, you'll have this no draw floor. You don't want that right now. So, if you press Control U for ungroup, it'll ungroup the box, and then you can change it how you want. Since you want it to the floor. Okay. Now, we have our house opening and go back to your face edit sheet and do a search for wood I'm gonna do a wood wall then just any wood texture that you really want I'm just gonna do a common wood for mine you can do any texture doesn't really matter and then once you have that you right click on each face and the face is one side of a brush you right click on each face to give it the texture. You want to do this to the inside and outside. And I'm going to use a different wood texture for the ceiling. Now, we want to have a nice little roof. So, if you drag this up a little bit, you'll have the no draw a bit higher now. And now, you want to go to your clipping tool. The clipping tool does it just, it 
clips away itself. So now, you go to the corner here, and click there, and now you'll see a line. And what this line does is, anything that's white will be kept, anything that is red will be destroyed. So now we press enter, and go around, see now we've created clipped side. So now, we go back to our clipping tool again, clip it again, on the other angle, and now we have a nice little roof. And go ahead and texture it, whatever you want. I'm just going to do a search for roof. Give it some shingles or something. Now we have shingles on the roof. And if you go back to the front of your house, this is where my front of the house is going to be, you grab your clipping tool again, select here, and go up. Now you'll have one red side and one white side. Now if you clip the cl click the clicking clipping tool icon again, it'll change. Now the white side will be reversed. And then if you click it again, you'll have two white sides. What that does is just clips it, makes it two separate brushes. And now we have two smaller brushes. Now we want to clip again on the brush. This is going to be your doorway. So now you'll have one small area right in the middle. And just drag that up. And now, you have the entrance to your house. And if there is a no draw face right here, like there is right here, just apply a texture to it. To grab a texture that's already in your map, just left click on it, and then you right click on the area, and I'll put the texture in. And now to add spawns. Spawns are really simple to add. You just click the entity tool, click it right there. The default is a terrorist spawn. We're going to make a terrorist and a counter terrorist, so both players can join a team. So, now we have a terrorist here. And to quick copy something, because we're just going to copy him, you can use Control c and Control v but if you hold down the Shift key, drag the entity in a 2D view, and then let go without releasing the Shift key, it'll create a copy of him. And then if you press Alt-Enter to bring up the tools, you'll see Info Player Terrorist under class. You want to change it to Info Player Counter Terrorist. And now you'll see it change to whatever your Counter Terrorist model is. If you have skins, they will be in Hammer. So don't freak out if mine look different because mine are all stock. So now, you save your map as something. And now, you click Run Game, Run Map. And for this, we're going to just run BSP. Under Run Viz, click No. Under Run Rad, click No. I usually check my Don't Run Game after compiling because I don't run my game. And then click OK, it'll compile, and then load up Counter-Strike. Then load up your map. And then you join team. You'll start with a Glock, the default weapon, or a USB. And you'll have your house. Basically, as you saw in Hammer, there will be more information in my other tutorials. This is just a quick remake, so my house will not look the same. My other tutorials, and my voice will be different. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and stick with it.